I mean, at this rate, we'd be open in the parking lot in August. So there you go. It is official, Gas Monkey Sturgis. And uh, so we bought the bar and I'm pretty stoked about it. This bar has all the bones, all the cool stuff. And there's a lot going on in the Black Hills, not just the rally itself. Things starting to happen from like May all the way through September till the first snow. We've got a lot of developments happening up there, golf courses, clubhouses, all kinds of things are happening. So this is a long play for me. I'm hoping to have this bar well, this is the 84th uh, rally, so next year's 85, and that's 15 more years from there. So 16 years from now, we could be there celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Black Hills Rally. So I'm pretty stoked on that, but I got a lot of work to do now. I've got to make it cool. The bars had three names in the last 10 years. The owners that did those didn't really do too much. They just threw a new name up on the shingle and said, I'm open for business. So I'm going to have to do some major operations on the inside move some walls, bring in that whole gas monkey style. I'm already getting some good ideas. I, I had a little time to think on the plane coming home. And one of the cool things that, that I think that we can bring to the table as gas monkey is that we have a certain style and my style is cool and real. This place is full of diamond plate and beer signs that the distributors give you and you know, ceiling fans with neon lights in them. And it's, <laughs> It's definitely not the gas monkey style. Uh, what, what we do here is it, kind of, we put our heart and soul into it. We make the stuff, we make the furniture, we, we really get into it. I don't know how much of that I'm gonna get done this year, but I know that I've gotta move some walls, change some flooring, change the bar, and then we've gotta get into the decor because the decor right now sucks. And I wanted to have that cool, really bitching vibe. So Dabney likes to get on me for uh, hoarding. She says I buy too much junk and too much crap. And realistically, everything that we've done at Gas Monkey has been taking old stuff like this and making it look really cool. But when it came to buying, well, like trailers or old signs or any things like that, she calls me a hoarder. And she's like, I can't believe you paid $500 for that. Well, this is a $500 trailer that I got out of West Texas. And we're going to turn it into a beer bucket for uh, selling up at Sturgis during the day and in the evening for that matter. That'll have a kick-ass bar hype table on it so people can sit out right there in the parking lot, sling some beers, and uh, watch all the motorcycles and all the mayhem go by. I got two of those we're making. Uh, we actually secured a lot of the old signage from uh, Gas Monkey Barn Grill here in Dallas and some of the stuff from down in Key West. So I'm repurposing that and giving it a little bit better edge for Gas Monkey Sturgis. Uh, and uh, we'll see what a hoarder she thinks I am now when uh, I got a $500 beer trough that uh, looks cooler than any other beer trough on the planet. My idea with this was not to have just like uh, buckets from Tractor Supply out there with some ice in them. That's fine, it does the function, but I wanted a cool piece of uh, memorabilia from Gas Monkey that was made here uh, that everybody can see and hang out and party. So uh, when it's flipped back over, it'll be a lot lower to the ground so uh, the beer guys and girls can get down into the, uh, into the ice and serve the beers. And uh, then also uh, we're gonna build a, a cocktail table off the front of it. Guys and gals can stand around right there at the corner drinking their cold beer they just bought from Gas Monkey Sturgis and uh, watching all the motorcycles go by and having a good time. So uh, we're gonna have two of these and then they wheel right into the garage. We don't really know why we're cutting this down. Richard just said, take it outside and split it right down the middle. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm, I'm really confused. Why are you taking those out? I'm really confused too. And when I'm confused, I like to take stuff apart. You're on fire watch, right? What's that? Oh yeah, I guess so. Richard's got the guys over there in the fab shop uh, cutting the leaf rings out of the trailer so that they can make beer trailers or beer troughs out of them. While they're doing all that, I got a, a booth full of stuff that I gotta clear.
early because I got to get the guys on the road. Uh, but uh, we're loading up all of the fixtures and components that we made here at Gas Monkey to uh, give uh, Gas Monkey Sturgis a little bit cooler look, a little bit better than most people up there are used to. So uh, we're loading and going. I've been here all morning moving shit and helping the guys out. And uh, normal mic shit. He shows up last minute. I think I pulled, pulled a muscle in my butt. Just getting out of bed? What are you talking about? Hmm. here um the trip took a little bit longer than we wanted i think it was what supposed to be 17 hours and it took we looked 20 hours so uh we're about five to six straps down we had some strap difficulties but we're here we made it so it's time to get a little bit of rest before richard you know arrives on his plane so are you tired very tired very tired we can get about three hours of sleep that'll work Look who landed! Woo! Well, y'all have done wonders with the place. I'm working hard. I've done quite a bit. All right, so. and you must be uh, CJ. Correct. Richard Rawlings. Nice to meet you. And you're going to run this uh, crazy operation for us. We're going to be wild and have fun and make money. Well, I like the, the last part, and I like the middle part, and I like, I, you know, I like wild and have fun and make money. It's, it's a good thing to have. But, um, so... Uh, Daphne, I know, and uh, Margaret talked with you and decided that uh, you're our candidate and you're the new uh, general operations person de resistance of uh, all of Gas Monkey Sturgis. You ready to handle this? I am ready. Are I'm sure? excited. I'm ready. Bring it. All right, well, you look like a tough girl, but I think I can take you in a I'm red spaghetti neck wrestling. Sticks. Let's go. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> well, we got our work cut out for you, and uh, I know that you've got uh, some people uh, on your team that you think might come across. Um, while I'm new in town, I don't want to piss off the locals, but if there's really good employees out there to have, I, I want them. Absolutely. Um, I've got a great following as far as staff and a connections, so they're excited. We've kind of put the word out a little bit. And they're chomping at the bit to meet with you and see what they can do. My email's even blowing up. They're like, you're coming to Sturgis, I want to work for you, da, 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 and all this. And I'm like, I don't even know a whole lot. I've been here five times during the rally and a couple of times talking to Dave about buying this bar. And uh, here we are. Now we own it. And uh, what's up with the uh, tape on the floor? That's my imaginary bar that you will need to approve so we can get it going. All right. We'll get after that. She's a go-getter. Yeah, we weren't wasting any time. We're you ready didn't for remove you. all the coolers, did you? Is there's one with beer in it? There's one. All right, y'all go amongst yourselves. I'll find that. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. The guys had to drive here, and I was pretty excited that I was going to get to fly. Um, I, I should have known that there would be a catch, you know, because Richard's like, hey, you need one carry on, and I got something that we're checking. And when he showed up with a broom, I'm like, I should have known. I should have. I should have drove with them. If I'd have drove with them, I could be sleeping right now like they are. Instead, I, I'm sweeping. It's, bull, it's the bullshit. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. They took the whole fucker out. There was no reason to take anything out from the fucking doors. What'd they take out? My entire slope right here. I had a nice, sexy slope. They were supposed to build the same thing on the other side of the slope. And he was given the direction to do two steps 
I know. And who the fuck does steps coming out of a bar? I don't know. That's what I remember God him saying. God damn it. Golly, I'm having a hard time getting over my frustration that they just come in here and fuck shit up for no reason. Range. The water just has to come here and a drain, which they were already here. They've looked at it. Yeah, but they still got to take it all the way over there, too. Yep, they know it's going through the channel with all the other stuff, the, the drainage. Um, when the contractors who were is, here. Who is these Coke contractors? Because that dude? That's one of them. Okay, well, that dude doesn't know what the fuck's going on. And he's, he's like, well, I don't know. I was going to sweep, get some boys out here this afternoon to sweep. And I'm like, well, when? Well, you know, later. I mean, I've got big fucking problems. There's a lot of work to happen in 35, 40 days. The garage doors need to be raised like I raised them at the other's place so that they're out of the fucking way. The, the, the air conditioning needs a Y so that it goes down the other side. The, they're not even started the plumbing. I mean, at this rate, we'd be open in the parking lot in August. I bit off a little more than I can chew right this second. I'm not giving up the fight. You know, I'm still going to, I'm still going to keep trying to get this happen, but we're at deadline uh, is July 10th. We've got to be open long enough for our, our, our bartenders and our servers to get, uh, acclimated and, and, and the kitchen cooks making and doing what they do. Um, my problem is, is I, I had a guy and it didn't work out. And so I wasted about 35 days of my intended deadline. Uh, so I came up here with Daphne who has the checkbook and the whip and, uh, we're trying to get it into shape, but there's a lot. We've got cement work. We've got blacktop work. We've got walls that need to be moved. We've got bathrooms that need to be built. We've got merch rooms that need to be built. The guys had pure hell driving up here with all of the merchandise uh, and uh, accoutrements. And if you don't know what that is, look it up. It's a pretty cool word. And uh, now I'm, I think I'm going to be stuck here for a while, or at least coming up here a couple of times a week to make sure that we make our path and make it done. Um, as you can tell by my demeanor, I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> Uh, usually I'm either happy or sad or pissed off or whatever. And today I'm just lost. All right. So we got like, I don't know, two hours or so of, of a nap and uh, it's time to get to business. Let's get all these unloaded. Uh, Richard, the whole gang's here. They flew in. Yeah. And Mike. So Mike's going to have to do a lot of the unloading. Speaking of. Look how fresh About he is. About time you some bitches got here. Yeah, Saying how fresh he is. He's gonna get to unload a lot. You know what's funny? Cause you think I'm fresh. Richard flew me down here just to sweep. I've already swept half that whole shot. You're fresh. Not fresh, man. For right now, let's just kind of push everything to this back corner where uh, Mike was sweeping. All right, and stack it in there. If we can stand these up on their end, well, they got stuff in them. Let's just put it in there for now. Okay. Slow and steady. We got enough people here to help out. Um, holy cow. Can you believe that I, I'm on the bar in Sturgis? I'm pumped. I just don't want to do this drive again in one day. Well. With straps blowing off and tires. Next time I'll give you two days. I'm down. All right, well, sit. I'm going to go do some quality check on the bar. I bet. I gotta have a bike to run around here in Sturgis and while I bought a new one at the shop that we're uh, kind of giving it my style, I also thought, well, I'm in the mountains and there's some trails and stuff. So uh, I got me a uh, adventure bike, I think is what they call it. Let's go have some adventure.
I'd let you ride it, Mike, but I don't know if you're tall enough. It's not too tall. You can handle it? <laughs> I think it's adjustable, too. What's this dude yelling at you? I think it's Bluetooth, so you can talk. Trash control, dude yelling. Yeah. Super cool. So I pretty much threw out a, a social media post, if you will, just who can help me, who can do this, who can you know make this happen. Uh, and uh, the word I kept hearing most was uh, full curl uh, construction, a guy named Levi. and. Uh, He's here, I'm gonna show him around and tell him what I need. And if he's not my savior, well, you know, Daphne's gonna be pissed off. <laughs> Hopefully you're my guy. I'm your guy. Richard Rawlings, Levi Kostopoulos, full curl. What's the last name? Kostopoulos. Kostopoulos, is that like Greek? It is as Greek as it gets. That's freaking right. <laughs> Dude, I am five weeks behind right now. Uh, the guy I had kind of helping me do what I needed to get done just didn't do it. And I, I'm hoping that you have the ability to get done what I need to get done because um, basically the, the thing I'm running to up here as opposed to like Dallas, there's a million people that will jump through hoops to make that, that day money or that week money or whatever. Up here, they're like, yeah, you know, maybe next month. I'll if have you can get time. them to answer the phone. Yeah, I know. So in broad strokes, over there, I want to demolish that thing and blacktop it, but I want to keep with the topography so that I don't flood the back of my building. I've got some patchwork for blacktop. Um, we've got, this building isn't as important as the big buildings, but over here, I want to build a really nice bathroom, um, probably at least out to this and we'll have a nice shower, we'll tile it, we'll have everything that a lady needs. Uh, Cause I want my wife and Mike's wife to be able to come in and do uh, whatever ladies do in the bathroom. I don't yep. know, they spend hours in there um, and uh, what have you, but we'll probably clean up all this electric, but it's secondary to what I got going on in the big building. Big mirror, fancy lights, vanity, stuff like that. Well, we'll still keep the arched deal. This. I saw is leaned on the outside of the building. And also there's like an old AC unit that's up there. Anything we can take away without ruining the fact that it's sealed, yep. I want to take away. Okay. Uh, I don't want to go into the roof yet because I've walked this building in the winter, in the summer, and it doesn't leak. So okay. I don't want to jack with yeah. anything. Yeah. I just want to put lipstick on a pig, so to speak. I see right here, they kind of have this piece sistered in between these two beams here. And we'll leave them. Okay. I'm leave the say sisters. They make a nice black powder Leave the sisters. We'll bracket. just trim all that, trim yeah. all the deals and, and paint it. So we got this really cool paint, black through the middle. We've got our tin uh, up here that's clean enough. We'll paint that wood. Then over here, We'll probably just do more tin like they started to. And then we got this juxtaposition that's really cool. Okay. But what I was talking about for the tops of the bar, where we're whacking it, uh, going into the merch store, it's just going to be cages like those doors right there. Yep. Expanded metal in boxes like that. Okay. And we'll drill them into the drinking post that you put in. And then we'll drill them together, maybe a one inch space, give it some depth and whammo off we go okay. i wanted to to keep its charm yep just we're going to update it a little bit because this is going to be like where i flop house when i got to come up here uh it'll be my area to hang out but it'll also be kind of a kick-ass like vip here's where you're going to hang out here's where you you know if you want to hang out with the cool kids yep. here we are cool and uh what have you but you know i've heard it up here in sturgis everybody's cool <laughs> You know, as a GC, you got concrete guys, blacktop guys, sheetrock guys, paint guys. I've got the network start to finish. Start to finish. Well, that's what I need is someone to handle start to finish because I can be up here a couple of times a week or whatever I need, but I've got 30 days now. I had 65 and I wasted 35. Are there any architectural drawings or does this dream live in your head? It lives in my head. That's where everything from Gas Monkey comes from. But uh, it's pretty simple. 
this is just moving a few walls and just adjusting it. Cause this is place has been uh, kind of what it's been for, I don't know, five or six years. And it's been a couple of different names. I want people to see it, know that it's different, know that it's badass and that they want to be here. Plus, you know, as well as I do right there, they put the temporary stop sign and that banner is Black Hills Rally number 84 this year. And this is where everybody stops. You know, 90% of the traffic that comes into Sturgis comes down Junction. And I want them to come in here and have a good time drink some beers and uh, buy some swag and get on down with it. I'm Levi Kostopoulos. I own Full Curl Construction. I'm a general contractor here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Over the last three or four years, I've created quite the network here in the hills. It's taken a long time to do so, but I've got a really good team behind me right now. I'm meeting the painter. We're going to do some interior painting, some exterior painting, get that all, all shaped up and taken care of. I uh, had my HVAC company and refrigeration guys come out. We're going to need to move some walls inside extend the bar, the service area for the restaurant. I had my plumber come out. We're gonna have to cut up some concrete floors, add some new drain lines, uh, and, and then patch the concrete and the actual flooring. So uh, we were kind of pulling out all the stops, getting all the subs out here to try to come up with the best game plan we can and start our, our uh, near impossible schedule. So I buy cars all over the world definitely all over the nation and i send a truck to go get them and they bring them here and i can see what's wrong with them and i can massage them into what i need them to be and then i can sell them and make some money it's not as easy to do with a physical bar that comprises two buildings in a whole city block a thousand miles away so we got up there and we met uh cj and uh, seems like a really good fit uh she's been in that business in those towns for a very long time so uh has a lot of contacts and i think that that's going to work out real well so hopefully uh it's all just up in the air but not having anything done was freaking me out and uh, then with my eye every time i go up there i'm always thinking well what can i do can i move this can i do that and 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 i know what's going to happen i'm going to add more and add more uh, and so I got on the phone, I started calling everybody that I knew up there, uh, everybody that I knew might know somebody up there. And uh, I'd have gotten the yellow pages if they were still around. I found this kid named Levi, and I say kid, I guess he's uh, 40 or so. Uh, seems like a nice guy, he's watching real estate, he's into uh, construction, full curl. I can't even say it, full curl? Okay, full curl, I thought it was like a workout, but it has something to do with like a ram and its horns growing weird. I don't know, it's country shit. But uh, anyways, seems like a really sharp kid, has a lot of contacts. And he's like, Richard, he goes, I, I wanted to come out here and talk to you about it, but I've got kind of a vacation schedule and I got to go to this wedding. And, and I was like, I, I don't have time for that. I said, so who do you know? And he goes, well, I know me. He goes, so I'm just going to cancel it. And he says, I got this. So what's coming up next? I, I got to tell you, I'm not good at uh, prophesizing the uh, future, but I will tell you that I've got a menu to develop. I've got uh, a lot of walls and a lot of things to build. I've got to get a new bar in there with a better style. I got to give this place the facelift that it really needed and it's needed for a long time. I got some pretty cool ideas and uh, I'm excited to be a part of it and I just hope I don't lose my ass because uh, the rally's coming quick and we're way behind. But let me tell you this uh, out there for just uh, the local uh, people and even anybody that wants to move to Sturgis. Yes, we're going to be hiring. When? I don't know. I'm under construction. But watch the website, gasmonkeysturgis.com or even gasmonkeygarage.com and uh, watch these videos, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And you'll learn as fast as I learn because every single day it's changing. But uh, I think we're going to put together a really, really good crew up there. I'm going to be open year round because I'm going to have the best food in that area. And uh, we're going to kill it on that. And uh, let's see what else. Man, uh, I just got to get open in like, three weeks because the rally is coming uh, and uh, then we'll take a breath, adjust through the winter and get ready to do it all over again next year. So uh, if you're in town, get by there. Uh, and if you're not, we'll get in town. It's pretty cool up there in Sturgis. It's called the Black Hills. Here we go.